Hey everybody, my name's Annette. Welcome to my channel, Every Box Matters, where I want to encourage you to pack a shoebox for Operation Christmas Child and share the love of Jesus with kids around the world. So right now, I am working on a little packing party with my sister Karen and my mom, Kay, and we are going to show you a little bit about what we're doing. All right, here's my mom, and she is folding the boxes for us. And if you've never folded a box from Samaritan's Purse, just want to show you, take the end, and then you wrap it like that. And then you tuck it in, and then you do the same thing to the other end. It's kind of like a little pizza hut lid. And then turn it around, and then you do the same thing to the lid. Now, when we were at the processing center, there were a couple of boxes that we got that were actually not folded correctly, and we had to refold them. Somehow or other, the flaps didn't get put in correctly at this part. But um, that's all you got to do. Wrap it around. And the top and the bottom the same kind of way, and when it's yeah you push it in real good so it's all together then you fold that lid and it should work if everything's um pushed up like it's supposed to be it did it there so she is folding these boxes for us to get them ready and there's the 10 to, we're doing 10 to 14 girls these are the tubs i have for those and we're starting to pass out stuff and put them on the couches and here's karen she was with me at the processing center and so she's here to help pack some boxes okay okay here's a pile for our 10 to 14s this is what we're going to try to get in the boxes we've got flip-flops we've got a pretty fans i love these fans from dollar tree we've got some stickers we've got a barbie doll and an outfit everybody has that at least let's see this one has a sewing kit these two things go together and there's the sewing kit part and then we have some material down here too here's our um bandana here's some underwear this is a bead kit here is a hat here is some socks let's see we got a slap bracelet we got a little change purse kind of thing a friendship bracelet one of these cute purses that has the strap inside we have material to go with the sewing kit we have a drawstring backpack we have a hair bow we have a little puzzle colored pencils, deck of cards, a whistle. These are the blank pages, uh, like a drawing pad that I put together. There are pencil pouches. These all have the nice big scissors in the pencil pouch so they can go with the material and be fine. And then they have a calculator in there. The highlighters, the pencils, the erasers, the sharpeners. What else? Sunglasses. Um, notebooks, spiral bound. College ruled is what I try to get these kids. My little note. Here is the pretty Dollar Tree journals that have the Bible verse in them and lines. So that's just extra lined paper. A coloring book, all of them are a Christmassy coloring book, and a little stuffed animal. Now, there, oh, and a hygiene kit. The hygiene kits all have a comb, a washcloth, a toothbrush, and um, some of them have tweezers. They all have clippers of some kind and the chapstick. That's pretty much what's in all of them. So, we're going to see how much of this stuff can get in each box. Obviously, it won't all go, but that's our pile for each one of them is basically all that kind of stuff and i can show you some little previews kind of a little snippet of what it looks like afterwards all righty so here we go all right here's our first box mama packed it and it's nice and full now everything could not go in there the bead kit actually could because we traded it for a bag i got lots of bags so yes bags make a big difference uh annabeth on her video really um Maybe realize I could put things in bags instead of these containers. But anyway, the teddy bear, purse, hat, sunglasses, that didn't fit. But there is a sewing kit in here, so the material's at the bottom. We got flip-flops in there. She's got the hair bows. We got a, a Barbie doll type doll in there. And the notebooks and everything. And anyway, it's a beautiful box. It's full. It's great. And it does close. I just am on camera. So anyway, box number one, done. Okay, box number two. Karen did this one, her first one. That stuff would not make it, but that's okay. We got plenty of goodies. We got the bead kit into here. Makes a lot better space. Got the sunglasses. The toboggan. Sewing kit stuff, because there's a nice piece of material at the bottom. Hygiene kit. She got the flip-flops in there. Colored pencils. Purse full of goodies. So, yes. A nice surprise. Nice gift for a girl. 10 to 14. And we do have a journal notebook on the bottom, so that does have some notebook paper. Anyway, it's number two done. All right, this is box number three. Got a nice sewing kit in here. Barbie doll and child. 
um, hair bow little thing here with stuff in it other nooks and crannies thing and then we put this behind it so when it bends over this space is being used with the fan and the colored pencils and then on the bottom we have the material and stuff so a good girl box box number three all right our next box box number four these things didn't get in there but we've got sunglasses on top other stuff under here um oh that's the backpack we got the cards sewing kit so the stuff the sewing materials on the bottom Got the flip-flops here on the side and a purse full of goodies. So, it is a nice and full, great box for a 10 to 14 year old girl. All right, here's Karen working on a box. It takes a minute. Hi. It's a puzzle, even though you've done several. Each one takes time. And the fabric at the bottom really takes up some space. Okay, and here's Mama working on a box. See how much she can get in there. Mm -hmm. So each pile of stuff is really like if you were at a church and you picked through a bunch of boxes, except we're just picking through a pile and seeing what we can get in there. And there's plenty to choose from. <laughs> All right, box number five, I think. It is overflowing and bulging, but it, it'll make it. So there's our backpack. This is Jack's. And there's the bead kit. And then you can see... Peaks of other things, a sewing kit there, so sewing stuff's on bottom. A bow, hygiene kit stuff, so we took it out so it would get in there better. And then a bunch of stuff filled up in the purse. So, it's a great, full, wonderful box. There's colored pencils and stuff on the bottom. Alright, box number six. I got one of the sparkly, fun lunch boxes in there. And it's filled with goodies. And then, um, so just take a peek underneath it. That's the pretty material. For the fabric, and I got a notebook at the bottom and coloring book and stuff. A little change purse here. Um, the whistle, some of the sewing kit, underwear socks on the side. So anyway, it's beautiful and it's full. 10 to 14 year old girl will love it. All right, here's the next box. Full and bulging. Coloring book, notebook. We bring it over further to help it close. A whole dress on top and then the material and then our other goodies. Barbie dolls sewing kit stuff all that other stuff is down there that stuff over there wouldn't fit but a whole bunch of stuff did it's full all right here's our next box now the flip-flops wouldn't make it because they're too tall with our other stuff these particular boxes with this kind of thing i got that goes in here you can't have it bulging like you can with the regular samaritan's purses boxes so that's a disadvantage of these and i'm not going to use them again if i have to get bigger boxes i'll use the kind that overhang like samaritan's purse and we didn't get a barbie in there but we got this fabulous lunch box with all the goodies in it and we even fit a little stuffed animal on the side and sunglasses and the fan and the material and sewing kit and all the other goodies i've been showing you okay this is box number nine we have the hat on top and then using that space in the back with the fan the notebook coloring book the doll and then a dress too and then under all that there's the material and hygiene kit and everything and so sewing kit stuff and all those wonderful things great box number nine okay box number 10 got the flip-flops on top got stickers the notebook are in the flip-flops we got jump ropes this time underwear the cup full of goodies and all kinds of more stuff under there but a nice and full there's a bow sticking out wonderful box these things couldn't fit in it, but we got all a bunch of goodies. All right, here's the next box. Got the coloring book and notebook, the crossbody bag. Um, what is that? Oh, that's my note. The bead kit, jump rope. There's a shirt there. There's the bow. There's a cup this time with stuff full. And there's a um, sunglasses. The coloring pencils are here, so lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. Nice full box. All right, here's the next box. Got a pretty butterfly purse on top. Got the notebook and the coloring book back there. And then got the Barbie doll down there. And a dress underneath her. And then a cup full of goodies. And a jump rope under there. A lot of good stuff. I'm not going to move the dress. Um, so a few things we couldn't fit in there. But lots of good things. A great box. And um, yeah, and I was, uh, I was talking to Karen and Mama. Even though we had the same pile to pick from, you can see that every box is a little bit different. Because everything won't fit so we pick and choose box number 13 got the notebook and coloring book got a purse full of goodies got a cup full of goodies 
And then peeking under there, got the hygiene kit and the pencils and everything. So, yes, it's great. There's the rest of the hygiene kit. Because, see, I did pass out the hygiene kit with everything in it. But if we need to separate it in order to pack it, that is fine. Oh, and a sheet of stickers. Just added. Very good. All right. All right, box number 14. This is a dress on top. That's how I did this. And then under that, you see the Barbie doll with hair stuff, little pouch, um... What is that? Socks. Things like that. What is that? Oh, that's the bottom of flip-flops. I got some flip-flops in here. Or the Barbie. Other little goodies. That's a jump rope. Bead kit. Sunglasses. So, nice box. Box number 14. Okay, box number 15. We have the coloring book and notebook and a hat and then the purse. And then the goodies underneath. We got the Barbie doll we can see and a cup full of goodies and... See other stuff peeking around there? Uh, hygiene kit and all that stuff. So, it's a very good full box that will barely close, but we will make it. So, that is um, box number 15 for 10 to 14 girls. All right, here we are with our 15 boxes that we just did today. All nice and stacked up and labeled and ready to go. And before we put them into my study, we will say a prayer for them and pray that they are a blessing to whoever gets them wherever they go in the world. So remember, hope this encourages you to pack your shoe boxes and get them ready for November. I know that's a little ways off, but I wanted to get mine going now so I can work on actually the ones at church and other stuff like that. So, um, yes, remember no matter how many boxes you pack, one or 100, every box matters.